Chapter 12 Life in the Deserts Let's learn Types of Deserts Sahara a hot desert Ladakh a cold desert We know that the earth's surface is covered two thirds with water however the distribution of water is not even throughout and some regions have enough water while some have scarcity of water Deserts are such places where water is very scarce. There are barren lands with sparse vegetation and an annual rainfall of less than 25 cm. They have extreme temperatures that is it may be as hot as fire or as cold as ice. People inhabiting these areas have to adapt themselves to these extreme climatic conditions. Brain tickler. Does the European continent have a desert? If yes name it Human habitations are found only in places where water is available and hence these regions are very thinly populated There are three types of deserts hot or tropical deserts these are located within tropics between 20 degrees and 30 degrees latitude north and south of the equator for example Sahara Kalahari Thar etc cold or temperate deserts these are found in the temperate regions between 30 to 55 degrees latitudes of both hemispheres for example gobi ladakh etc polar deserts these are located north of 60 degrees latitudes and south of 60 degrees latitudes these are the areas of permanent ice sahara a hot desert Hot deserts are located in all continents except Europe and Antarctica. The largest of all the Sahara Desert is located in the continent of Africa covering a major part of North Africa. It stretches from the Atlantic Ocean in the west to the Red Sea in the east covering an area of approximately 8.5 million square kilometers. Its east-west extent is about 5500 kilometers while its north-south extent is about 1900 kilometers. The Atlas Mountains lie to the northwest of the Sahara and towards the south the desert merges into the savanna grasslands. It touches 11 countries which are Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Sudan, Tunisia and Western Sahara it is an example of hot desert in Fuhaive Sahara is also called as El Kela which means emptiness such deserts are located on the western edges of the continents although it is a hot desert the whole of Sahara is not covered with sand only 1/4 of the desert is sandy known as eggs and rest of it is empty plains elevated plateaus and rocky elevations the highest peak found in these rocky hills is emikosi river nile and river niger flow along the fringes of sahara underground water is obtained from oases and apart from that lake chad is the south of sahara provides water to a certain part of the vast desert it is believed that sahara desert was a lush green forest once and due to human activities and climatic changes it was transformed into a desert climate this region experiences a very hot and dry climate accompanied by very high temperatures due to high temperatures there is very less humidity The temperature increases and humidity decreases as you go from north to south across the Sahara. The sky is cloudless and clear. Summer afternoons are extremely hot, 55 degrees centigrade, and winter nights reach below the freezing point. The high temperatures heat up the sand and rocks which radiate heat, making the surroundings hot. Across the desert the annual average rainfall equals no more than a few inches or less much less in many locations in some areas no rain at all might have fallen over several years in fuhaive al azizia in libya recorded the highest temperature of 57.7 degrees celsius in 1922 flora and fauna The harsh climatic conditions allow growth of only those plants 
that have adapted themselves to the desert climate by developing the toughest survival mechanism. They have extensive root system, waxy coating and leaves modified into spines. Some examples of plants which grow in this region are cactus, baobab, acacia and date palms which grow near oases. Animals found in Sahara Desert are hyenas, foxes, camels, lizards, snakes and scorpions. Some animals hibernate during scorching summers to escape heat. Oases at some places have made growth of vegetation possible in those regions. Life in Sahara Desert The Sahara Desert has a very extreme climate, but this has not restricted the people from inhabiting the inhospitable region. The Bidowns and Tuaregs are the two prominent nomadic tribes living in the Saharan and Sub-Saharan regions. These people live in temporary tents and move from place to place in search of pasture and water. Their main occupation is rearing of camels, sheep and goats which provide milk, meat and hides. The hair of animals is used to make mats, carpets, clothes and blankets. The clothes are designed in a manner that protects them from dust, storms and hot weather. People lead a settled life near the oasis and cultivate crops. Some crop varieties include rice, wheat, maize, barley and cotton. Egypt and Nile Valley is one such example where people live permanently. Agriculture, herding and local trade is the source of income for the people of the Sahara. The camel is the most important animal in this region, used as a beast of burden. It also provides milk, meat and fur skin. The recent discovery of mineral deposits in Algeria, Libya and Egypt has transformed the economy of the region. Important minerals found here include iron, phosphorus, manganese, copper and uranium. At present, the Sahara is no more a region inhabited by nomadic tribes only. Now people can be seen living and working in multi-story buildings. The cities have all modern facilities such as hospitals, schools, cultural and religious centers and super highways. Modern means of transport are common. Many places are spots of tourist attraction which earn a lot of foreign exchange. Ladakh, a cold desert. In the eastern part of Jammu and Kashmir lies the cold desert Ladakh. It is also called the Khapachan, meaning snowland. It is a high altitude desert with craggy barren cliffs and plateaus. Ladakh is divided into two districts, Leh and Kargil. Ladakh's altitude varies from about 3,000 meters in Kargil to about 8,000 meters in the Karakuram range. The region has very few peaks. Ladakh is surrounded by the Karakuram range in the north and the Zanskar range in the south. The river Indus flows through this region and cuts deep valleys. Many glaciers such as the Gangri surround Ladakh. Ladakh has a number of valleys. Most important among them are the Suru Valley and the Zanskar Valley which forms the foot of the northern part of Himalayas. The river Shok runs through this region. Ladakh, apart from India, is inhabited by the Ladakhis who are also called snowmen. It is a place where the teachings of Buddha are followed with great reverence. Climatic Conditions Due to its high altitude, the climate is extremely cold and dry. The summer temperatures vary from minus 3 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius, while in winters it varies between minus 40 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius. Due to the high altitude of Ladakh, the air is very thin and makes the heat of the sun very severe. The great Himalayas form a barrier against the moisture-laden clouds. The rainfall is as low as 10 cm per annum, but the melting of snow on mountains is a source of water for the inhabitants. Info Hive Ladakh is made up of two words, La meaning mountain pass and Dak meaning country. Flora and Fauna Vegetation is very limited due to scanty rainfall and extensive year-round snow cover. 
Shrubs and grasses are seen in this region apart from poplars and willows which grow in the river valley. During the summer season, water from melting glaciers enables people to cultivate crops like rice, wheat and vegetables. Fruits such as apples, apricots and walnuts are also grown here. Wildlife of Ladakh includes yak, wild goats, wild sheep, dogs, snow leopard, nyan, musk deer and Tibetan antelope. Goats and sheep provide milk, hide and meat to the people living in this area. Yak milk is used to make butter and cheese and hair for making woolens. Bird species found commonly in Ladakh are robins, red starts, Tibetan snowcock, raven and hoopy. Info hive. Sunstroke and frostbite can be experienced at the same time in life of the people. Agriculture is the main occupation of people in summer months. Wheat is the main crop cultivated along with barley up to an altitude of 3000 meters above mean sea level. The crops are sown in May and harvested in September to avoid frost. Grain production is supplemented with horticulture and livestock rearing. Important fruits grown here are apples, melons, apricots, mulberries, strawberries, etc. Peas, potatoes, beans and turnip are the main vegetables grown here. In Ladakh, herders are known as chankpas. They take care of long shaggy-haired goats and sell wool in its raw form which is a profitable product for trading. The famous Kashmiri pashmina shawls are made from under fleece of wild sheep. The vast pastures along the mountain slopes provide fodder for the sheep and goats. Yak is used as a means of transport. It also provides milk, meat and hair to make tents. The people of Ladakh are very hardworking. The women work in farms. They even manage small businesses and shops. Summer months are spent in agriculture and winters are spent rearing cattle and weaving. In Ladakh, every occasion is marked by feasting, dancing and singing of folk songs. Lamas robed in colorful garments and wearing often startlingly frightful masks perform mimes representing various aspects of the Buddhist religion. The biggest and most famous of the monastic festival is Hemis Cheshu, which falls in late June or the first half of July. People mostly follow either Islam or Buddhism, and we can find several monasteries with traditional gompas such as Hemis, Thikse, She, and Lama Yuru. Many tourists visit Ladakh between May and October and participate in their festive ceremonies. They also visit the Gompas trek to see the meadows and glaciers. Due to inhospitable climate and terrain, life is difficult in this region, but the people have coped up with the challenges and maintained a balance in nature. The government is also trying its best to improve the economy and living conditions of the inhabitants by constructing transport and communication systems. Initiating plantation of trees, improving local breeds and increasing fodder production. Leh is about 434 kilometers from Srinagar. National Highway 1A connects Leh to Kashmir Valley through the Zoji La Pass. The districts of Leh and Kargil are well connected through airways. Ladakh is one of the few places where Tibetan Buddhism is still practiced as a living religion. Recap. The Sahara Desert of Africa is the largest hot desert in the world. Bidowns and Turaregs are the main nomadic tribes of Sahara Desert. The flora and fauna in Sahara Desert is not diverse due to the extremely hot and arid climate. The discovery of minerals has brought a change in the life of the people. Ladakh lies in eastern Jammu and Kashmir and is a cold desert. Agriculture and cattle rearing are the main occupations of people of Ladakh.